Well, does the idea of permanent makeup scare you? How does it work? What if something doesn't look right on you? Well, Sally Hayes, she is a permanent makeup artist, and she has been for the last 30 years here in the Valley. And she's pretty much seen it all. And she's brought along with her Sandy Peterson, who came to Sally because you were originally going in to get something corrected. Tell us why you originally went to see Sally. Correct. I, um, I had my eyebrows done before. They did not have a shape and they were reddish colored they turned out that way and so i went to sally and she fixed my brows and then oh my goodness we're going to call her eyes. the repair woman because you <laughs> see a lot lips. of ladies come to you like that right they've right. had a botched up you know permanent makeup procedure and you have to correct them so what did you think when you saw sandy hers was easy to correct a lot of them i can't correct a lot of them i have to send them to a doctor a laser um, man to take them off but hers were light enough Mm -hmm. They were just a real light red that I could uh, color correct them. All right, so this is the before. There mm -hmm. you go, Sandy. Look at See, yourself. See, they were too short. <laughs> they didn't come in close enough to her nose. Okay. And then when right. she was there, I showed her her eyes and her lips, so she did it all. So how long ago was this done, Sandy? Did you originally have this done? In October. In October mm -hmm. is when you, well, that's when you went to see Sally to fix right. it. But you had had this done. Oh, I had that done, like, Eight years ago. Okay, so mm -hmm. it had faded as well. Right. As well. So, right. what did you decide to do, Sally? When you saw her face, she's beautiful. What well, did you I just took, a, uh, of course, topical makeup and applied it for her brows, showed her how she should bring them in closer to her nose. And then I showed her her eyes and her lips, and then she said, When can I do it? <laughs> when can I do it? Okay, now I want you to look right into this camera. Okay. Can you move your bangs just I a little sure bit? I can, yeah. Look at, the, look at the after. What do you think now when I you see yourself? Am for real. Look right into there. Look at <laughs> yeah. that. It's totally different, totally Sally. Different. So mm -hmm. you told her they were too short, they, they were obviously yeah. too light. <laughs> well, whoever did them, they put a little red in them, and so. She needed a cooler brow, not a warmer brow. So I did that, and then I brought them in closer to her nose where they should be. And then, of course, doing the eyes made an amazing difference oh, in wow. the lips. Yes. You look so much younger. You know, <laughs> I felt that you know, too. <laughs> permanent makeup takes about five years off of you. Oh, wow. Just oh, because man. it put color back in your face. Mm -hmm. Anytime you can brighten your eyes or make your lips appear, you know, like you can see them. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You just so did, I, I have to ask, though, did you think you could ever correct that? The before photo? I wasn't really sure. And yeah. I, what I was thrilled about is the shape that she gave my eyebrows. They look great. Yes. yes. <laughs> because I have to say, you really originally didn't start with a whole lot. No. You know, no. And, and she gave you just a bright, a brighter eye. And of course, mm -hmm. it's all in the eyes when we Absolutely. make that connection. Yep. So, what if people come to you? What do you tell them as far as trying to find the right look for them, Sally? How you do you know, get them to this point? Everybody's got facial features. And if you just follow the natural brow mm -hmm. and just ask people, do you want to see an arch or do you like them a little, you know, how do you like them, draw them on, and it's just defining your features. And that was a totally different color for you. Yes. So how do you match the color tone? I do it to skin tone. Okay. So skin that's not, tone. we're not doing hair, we're nope, not doing nope. what outfit you have on that day. <laughs> but anytime you're correcting something, you have to look at the base you're starting with right. and then correct that. And you have had so many people in your chair, Sally, who came in for one thing and ended up doing You May as well be wash and wear if you're coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how much time do you save in the morning? And a lot. My husband is thrilled. <laughs> we <laughs> actually get, get prices ready. on time. Right? Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, this is a perfect holiday gift as well. If you don't want to do permanent makeup for yourself, maybe you could give it as a gift. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to book a consultation, contact Sally Hayes Permanent Makeup, 10201 North Scottsdale Road in Scottsdale. 480-951-0539 is the number to call. You can also visit her website at permanentmakeup.com.